Can you hear me, artist? Yeah. All right. Sorry, I can't see. Go, go ahead, Nick. Who's up, artist? I can't see. I'm sorry. Oh, we have Taylor Rapp. Okay. Sorry about that. Hey, Taylor, how you doing? Hey, man, I'm, I'm doing good. How are you? Doing great, man. Um, Obviously, 2019, you had a great rookie year. 2020, you had some moments, but, you know, you were held back by some injuries. Um, so what is the mindset for you going into this season? Yeah, I mean, I think just keep growing as a player. Uh, you talked about it as a, as a rookie. You know, I uh, you know, I had to step in with the injury to JJ and stuff like that. And obviously, this past year, um, you know, a lot of injuries, uh, injury plaques year. So, um, you know, just, just keep growing my game and, you know, just keep making an impact and trying to help out the team as much as I can. I know you talked about JJ. So what is it like to lose a guy like him inside the locker room? Yeah, I mean, I, I love JJ. Everyone loves JJ. Um, and, you know, with him leaving, you know, it's obviously tough for our uh, defense and our back end and uh, for our team, too. So, um, you know, he's a he's a hard guy to replace. And, um, you know, we're just going to have to have guys step up and, um, you know, we, we got the right guys in, in the room and on the team. So I'm, I'm excited for this next year. And lastly, for me, including yourself, there are about four safeties that are proven, you know, they can be relied upon when it comes to the defense uh, with yourself, uh, Burgess, Fuller, Scott. Um, what do you feel like your role will be this season on this team? I mean, that's that's not my decision. That's the that's the coach's decision. So you said it, you know, we got a, we got a lot of depth in our safety room, a lot of depth in in the DB room. So, you know, uh, not only is that going to bring good competition out in, uh, between all of us, but, you know, that's going to elevate all of our games. Um, so, you know, just really looking forward to the the opportunity to, you know, push each other and, um, you know, grind with each other. Thanks, Taylor. Good luck to you this season. Thank you, man. Jordan. Hey, Taylor. Um, wondering how you are doing health-wise. You look like you're moving pretty good out there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling real good. Um, you know, obviously I deal, deal with a few injuries last year. Um, and so, um, you know, just, just getting back to being fully healthy and getting back on the football field and feeling good. So, you know, I'm, I'm moving really well, feeling really well. So I'm excited for this, this next year. Um, I noticed that uh, Raheem Morris uh, was complimentary of the way that you were communicating in this sort of last segment of 11 on 11s. Is that something that uh, you really want to continue to, I know you have in the past, but continue to develop uh, this season, um, especially knowing that you guys are, are trying to work around replacing someone who was as vocal as John Johnson? Yeah, I mean, I think um, every safety every safety on the team, you know, kind of has to, you know, take on that role of uh, being a great communicator um, in, in the back end and the, the whole defense. So. Um, you know, all of our safeties have the capability of communicating uh, very well and, uh, you know, making sure everyone's getting lined up, making sure, you know, we're, 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 we're dialed in on the, all the adjustments and stuff like that. So um, that's definitely kind of in the forefront of, of all of our safeties. Thanks, Taylor. Thank you. Kevin. Uh, hi, Taylor. And another JJ question. Uh, well, what really are the, the qualities that he had that need to be replaced? I mean, beyond just being a, a, a really good football player? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, uh, number one, I think he was an amazing leader. He was a great leader um, for, for our, our defensive uh, back room, and for the defense, and, and for the team as well. So, um, you know, I think that's that's the number one thing that we're going to have to really replace um, that leadership role um, that that's obviously uh, leaving with him departing. So um, but I mean, he's a great football player, obviously, you know, high energy guy, um, stuff like that. But I, I really think, uh, you know, his leadership is probably going to be missing the most. And, and was he unique in some way in, in that regard? And uh, I mean, how do you do you, can you consciously individually or as a group uh you know try to try to be him um i, I mean i i don't know exactly how like being exactly like him you know everyone's different obviously like that um but you know i think there's little different uh roles that everyone could fill uh to kind of fill those voids that um you know obviously leaving with his departure um and so everyone's kind of you know kind of got to pick up a little slack and um, you know, know their roles and know, you know, what they got to do and bring up the energy to try to 
you know, replace what what uh, is leaving with JJ. And just quickly, hey, do you see signs that it's happening? Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, um, you know, we haven't really put on the pads or full full speed anything yet, really. But um, you know, in, in a lot of these uh, eleven on eleven like jog throughs or walk throughs, you know, it's all above the neck and a lot of communicating stuff like that. So you know, you're able to see all that displayed in, in these type of sessions. So it's, it's been really good um, from, from really everyone in the room, um, you know, all, all the safeties, all the corners, all the stars, all that. Very good. Thank you. Hey, hey, Taylor, just what excites you about a Raheem Morris led defense? And in addition to that, what excites you about the opportunities that you've been given specifically? I know your role is still to be determined, but just from, you know, the responsibilities and things that you've handled so far this spring, what between both of those aspects uh, excites you most? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, Raheem, is, he's an amazing coach. Um, you know, he's he knows how to get to his guys. Um, he's, he's very high energy. Um, you know, you, you can feel his energy from across the field, probably across across this whole state. So, um, you know, just super excited to work with him. You know, it's, it's been a great four weeks, whatever, how many time, how much time we've been out here working with him. Um, but, you know, really what I've seen is, you know, he, he knows how to get to certain players, you know, certain players, um, you know, respond to different, different kinds of coaching um, differently. And, um, you know, I think he's really doing a good job in, in figuring out, you know, how to get to each player, how to coach each player, how to, instruct each player and stuff like that. And so, um, you know, really looking forward to, um, you know, getting back here uh, for camp and, and, and getting uh, ramped up for the season with him. Gary? Uh, hey, Taylor, just wanted to uh, check back with you to see how did your foray into the NFT world go? I mean, were you happy with what happened with that uh, fundraising drive? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it, it uh, turned out really well, um, you know, uh, able to help out a cause like, a, you know, that that's very important to me, um, you know, ended up donating uh, more than half the half the sales of the NFT to, uh, you know, to stop uh, Asian hate and all that. So um, anytime, you know, you can you can raise awareness, um, but also, you know, raise money for a good cause, is, you know, it's a win win. And then uh, I'm not sure how much, uh, you know, opportunity opportunity you guys have really had to work against them, but just curious what your impressions of Matthew Stafford have been so far. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got some great work with him, um, you know, going against the offense, going against him. Um, you know, he's obviously, he's a, he's a vet. He's, he's very experienced, um, very seasoned. So, um, you know, he, he knows how to manipulate um, safety's eyes, all that stuff. So it's, it's, it's been a pleasure working with him and, um, you know, I, I look, looking forward to, you know, competing against the best. Um, and he certainly is one of the best. And so, you know, certainly, um, as, as a defensive back room, you know, we're always trying to compete against the best and, um, you know, to be able to compete against him in practice and, um, you know, all training camp, that's, that's something that we we're uh, looking forward to. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hey, Taylor, we appreciate you, brother. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, guys.